Alright, so let, uh, let's have situation 17. The pile cap shown in the figure supports a 500 mm square column. Given dimensions A, B, uh, A and B, the effective depth of the uh, footing, you have diameter of pile use, pile yung ginamit dito. Column factored loads, so naka-factored na siya, PU and MU. Shear reduction factor and load combination is 1.2 dead load 1.6. Binigay pa rin yung load combination natin. But these are already factored. Do not use this one. Unang gamitin. Okay, so actually ilang beses sa itong lumabas sa board exam, no? Pinapalitan niya lang yung mga datas. So, tingnan niyo yung other videos natin sa other board exams, other year. The same problem. Pinago lang yung kanya. Uh, Tao dito, dimension, pati yung questioning. But almost the same talaga. So, compute the punching shear stress of the column. By the way, the column is 500 by 500 millimeters. Compute the punching shear stress of the most heavily loaded pile. And dito, of the least loaded pile. Substitute natin yung data. <clears throat> okay, unang-unang gagawin is to solve for the pile reactions. So, since this is um, square footing, square lang siya, the same dimension on its sides, pwede natin ilagay kahit sa ang direction yung MU. It's up to you. But the same lang kasi yung makukuha natin. Kunin muna natin yung pile reaction. Ito siya, ha? Limang pile. Yung PU is 1,800 kN. Kilonewton, kilonewtons. PU. MU is 180 kN. You can just decide saan mo i-orient si MU. Pwede dito, at pwede dito. Wala namang kasing problema because the same dimension na yan. Okay, kung hindi na uh, square yung ating footing, kailangan niyang i-define anong axis. So, I will just assume here, MU 180 kN. Let's say, tawagin ko tong um, y-axis. I-assume ko dito yung ating moment about the y-axis. Again, it doesn't matter kahit dito. The same dimension lang tayo, x or y. Okay, let's say this is row 1 for column 1. I mean, uh, pile 1. Ito naman row 2 and row 3. So, itong dalawang piles yan, yan yung row 1. Equal reaction. Ito naman, row 2, RU2. And these two piles here, the same reaction, RU3. Pinakamalaking pile reaction dito because ididiin siya ng moment. Yan. Ididiin siya dito. Dito naman, uh, liliit because hihilay ng moment. Uh, combined stresses tayo. So first, we will solve for the moment, polar moment, I mean, moment of inertia per unit area. At ng um, piles, i-transfer natin sa neutral axis. The formula becomes summation of x squared. Okay, kasi yung transfer distance ng pile is along x. Kaya, transfer natin dito to the neutral axis. Itong isang pile nasa centroid na, so no need na siyang i-transfer. The transfer distance x is half ng 2.4. Lahat sila is 1.2 transfer distance. Apat na piles, transfer natin sa neutral axis. Ito, hindi na kailangan i-transfer. So, yung transfer distance x is 1.2 times 4, apat. Again, yung isa, no need na because nasa centroid na siya directly. So, this one is mm raised to 4 per mm squared. Per unit area yung formula niya. Magiging mm squared lang yung inner siya. So, in calculating the reaction, gawin natin general formula. That is, gagamitin ko compression Positive na lang. Balik na rin natin. Tension negative. So, due to P, okay, due to PU, you have the reaction on each pile. PU over number of pots. Mag-distribute lang siya evenly. So, yung P na sa gitna. But due to moment, it is bending stress formula. MUX over inertia. Okay, X because X distance yung ating Ano, yung ating mga piles from the neutral axis. Okay? So, generalize muna natin. So, you have 1,800. By the way, plus or minus for bending stress. 
1800 uh, over 5 uh, piles, uh, distribute sa limang piles. Then, plus or minus yung MU is 180. Variable X muna tayo. Over inertia na 5.76. Ito yung result. That one is 360. 180 over 5.76 is 31.25. Sa pagkuha ng reaction, napalitan lang natin yung distances X. Halimbawa, RU1. Copy, 360. Ngayon, plus or minus. Yan yung tanong. Since, okay, since hihilahin siya ng moment, itong part niya, hihilahin ng moment, so liliit yung ating force dito. Liliit, no? Imagine natin, pag i-push dito, ito mako-compress. Ito naman, hihilahin. So liliit yung um, ating reaction. So that will be minus. Okay? Then yung distance x from the neutral axis is 1.2. 1.2. So, ito yung RU1. It really does. While RU2, dito sa gitna, the same formula pa rin, 360, but yung distance x niya is 0. Andito yung ating um, pile 2. So, plus or minus, pero 0 naman yung distance x. 360 lang yung ating reaction sa RU2. Uh, dito sa RU3, Ipupush siya ng moment dito. So, mas lalaki ang reaction. So, i-add natin siya. This time, mag-a-add siya dito. Plus 31.25. Yung distance x is still 1.2. You have 397.5 kilo. That's... Okay. Ngayon, kompleto na yung ating uh, reactions. So, kompleto na tayo sa reactions. Okay. Kunin na natin yung mga tanong dito. Punching, shear stress, lahat. Okay? Okay lang. So, i-gather ko yung mga datas. This one. First question is, compute the punching, shear stress of the column. Punching shear stress, bubutasin sa part ng kolob, yung ating footing. So, ito yung critical section. Okay? Critical section, mag-add ka ng D over 2 and D over 2. So, that part is the column dimension 500 plus effective depth of kolob. The same dito, since 500 yung kolob, 500 plus effective depth. So, ibig sabihin dyan, bubutasin yung part na yan, like this. Kaya, bubutasin ng kolom. Hindi siya mabubutas due to this pile. Kasi mas malaki yung dimension ng kolom and, and mas malaki yung force dyan. So, yung tinutukoy na stress dito is ito. Ito yung shearing stresses. Effective depth, uh, that's given. Given effective depth, 600 millimeters. Okay? So, bale, meron tayong um, one-fourth of VU. Apat na phases kasi yan. Now, yung VU, apat na phases. One-fourth VU. Ito naman siya is RU2. Ang kukunin natin is to solve for VU. Yung net shear force na ma-distribute dito sa ating lateral phases. So, yung VU is just equals PU minus RU2 dito sa gitna. PU minus RU2. Okay? Or RU. Basta, ito yung RU2. So, 1,800. Yung RU2 natin is 360. So, VU is uh, 1,440 kilonewtons. Sa punching shear stress, yung shearing area is itong side na yan. Okay? To define the area, kunin muna natin ang perimeter. Perimeter times thickness tayo. Punching shear stress. The perimeter is defined as BO sa code. So that is apat na 500 plus D. Apat na sides. So apat na 500 millimeters plus effective depth na 600 mm. So you have here 4400 millimeters. The punching shear stress, basta yung tanong is punching shear stress. Force 
over area. Meron lang fee. Para maging nominal siya. Force VU over area. The, she the punch in shear area is VO. The perimeter of punch times effective depth. Gawin kong newtons yung force. Ginawa natin newtons. Shear reduction factor for shear, it is 0.75, 0.9 naman sa moment. Binigay din siya dito sa situation. BO for 400, effective depth 600 millimeters, so answer, 0.73. Okay, next. Punching shear stress of the most heavily loaded pile. Most heavily loaded pile is yung pile number 3. Yung load niya, 397.5. Hindi dito ha. Hindi sa gitna. That's not the most heavily loaded pile. Hindi ito magpa-punch due to pile. Mabubutas sa gitna due to column. Mas malaki yung dimension ng column. Tingnan mo lang yung pinakamalaking pile reaction. And that is row 3. So, ito yung bubutasin. Okay, again, mag-add tayo ng D over 2 and D over 2 on each side. That means, uh, circular yung butas natin, no? So, the total diameter of punch is diameter of pile plus effective depth. So, kung ito yung ating R3, ito yung bubutasin, ganyan. Like that. Abubutasin natin, separate natin. Yan. Yan lang yung ibig sabihin niya. So, shear stress is distributed on that side. So, define VU. Ano yung magpapas ng shear force? Ano yung magpapas ng shearing niya? VU for that uh, most heavily loaded pile is just RU3. RU3 is 397.5 kN. The, uh, the same solution kanina. Define the perimeter of punch. So, perimeter ng punch, that's perimeter of circle, is just the circumference of the circle. And that is pi times the diameter. Pi times the total diameter of punch is pi diameter plus effective depth. Pi diameter is 350. Given niya dito, pi diameter 350. Okay? So, plus 600. Again, pi times total diameter. So, you have here 2984.51. So, punching shear stress on the most heavily loaded pile is VU. Or VU is ito. Gawin natin newtons. Okay, naka-newtons yan. Shear reduction factor is 0.75. It is also, again, given dito. Kita lang natin. It is 0.75 for shear. 0.9 naman for moment. Alright. So, ito yung ating BO. A BOD pa rin yan for punching shear stress. Effective depth is 600 millimeters. So, the answer is 0 0.296 or 0 0.3. Very easy. Then, last compute the punching shear stress of the least loaded pile. Saan, saan pile reaction pinakamaliit? Ito yung RU1. Pinakamaliit dito. So, dito yung ating butas. Bale, the same pa rin yung solution sa number 50. But this time, yung gagamitin natin na VU is yung RU1. RU1 naman tayo. Ito. Yung bubutasan dito sa part na yan. Okay? VU is RU1 which is uh, 322.5 kN. The same VO. The same VO tayo. Pi times the total diameter of punch. Then, punching shear stress is VU over VBOT. Yung nagbago lang is yung VU. 322,500 uh, newtons. In newtons yan. So, that is 0 0.24 megapascal.